What is happening guys? It is Daniel Lads 1989. Welcome back to the Hurryford United career. This is episode 44. Now, if you guys track your minds back to the last episode, we had a very positive uh, transfer window bringing in Amadou, bringing in Jordan, and we also got three wins on the bench. Blackburn Rovers, Brentford and Stoke, obviously in the simulated game against Stoke, we had three wins on the bench. I'd like to make it three wins on the bounce again. In this episode, we have Peterborough at home for the first game. Every single time we've played Peterborough, we've absolutely thumped them in every way. Possession, goals, everything. So I want to beat them again. We also have QPR at home. Very controversial game last time. It ended a draw. And we have Birmingham City at home. So three home games. We've got home advantage in every single game. I'm hoping for another three wins on the bounce, which should see us in and around maybe the top of the table. I at least want to keep in a playoff spot. Now, we've got the playoff spot. Let's not let go of it. So, first game against Peterborough. I'll see you at the Edgar Street Stadium. Here we are then, guys. The first played game of the episode. We are at the Edgar Street Stadium. We are against Peterborough. We know them very, very well. They are probably the team that we've played the most in this series i think we've at least played them six times now maybe wrong you guys might have to correct me but every single time we've played them we've either beaten them or we've absolutely hammered them so today's lineup i have switched it round because i think even the second squad or what i would consider the second squad should be able to beat them so, well, as you can see there, we have conceded 29 and they've only scored 33. So, the odds should go in our favour here, but we will see. Let's have a look at our lineup. As you can see the McNeil gets the first start in a Hurryford United kit. He's in the goal, he gets a start ahead of Griffiths. So, I'm hoping, obviously, with him being a little bit lower rated, it won't affect our well their opportunities on our goal too much but we've got silver and french in the center back positions obviously to cover and provide and help out there so we'll just wait for our lineup to come up and we'll get straight into the football right then guys rob neal in goal we have Alexander in the right-back position, Wilson in the left-back position, French and Silva centre-back together. I've gone uh, Amadou, captain, uh, alongside Doyle in the centre-defensive mid-positions. Wall in the cam position, Rodriguez out on the left, Graham out on the right, and Kirk Wilson up top. So, a change side, but still a very strong side. Let's get three points against Peterborough, shall we? Up towards Wilson here, holding the ball up well, keeping possession early. Amadou in towards Doyle. Doyle just trying to drop back towards Wall, who's in the box here or in and around. Try and get this to Kirk Wilson, see if I can get the first chance of the game. And the first chance of the game turns into the first goal of the game. I know we have a record at scoring against Peterborough, but I really didn't think the first chance of the game, Kirk Wilson would hit the back of the net. It was really just a half chance. I ran into the box looking for some space. Kirk Wilson gets the ball and near enough the penalty spot turns, hits it and the goalkeeper you've got to ask questions there. Goal he just turns and hits it Wilson straight down the middle and the goalkeeper almost looked like he was trying to protect his face instead of saving the ball. It's a really good tackle by Jordan there pressing and winning the ball in a dangerous area. Here comes Amadou sprinting forward. Here's the new man just trying to find that pass around the corner to Wilson. On towards Rodriguez. Chips in header and Kirk Wilson almost made it to them but this time the keeper makes a better stop. That time again it was near enough straight down the middle but this time he does make a good stop. We have ourselves a corner here. Almost 20 minutes gone. Silver to go up and doesn't get anything on it. Wilson send this back towards Rodriguez on this far side and just trying a bit of fancy footwork to get round him. Does get the cross in and goalkeeper collects this one. Again, Peterborough trying to attack down the far side. Three shots around. Amadou just trying to stand strong and get a tackle in. And we may call upon defenders here, but that was a decent effort. And wide of the target. It's French just thinking that over towards Alexander trying to create some room. And I was going to go into Doyle there. That's a misplaced pass. And they could be on a counter attack here, Peterborough. That's decent sprinting. Silver's not blessed with pace, but he has a little bit. Should be able to keep up here. 
and pass in and around the middle and he's gone straight past Alexander there with a really good touch ball comes in really good volley and Rob McNeil the new young goalkeeper making a fantastic save we might be able to get on the counter attack here I'll try and send that over towards Jordan and I don't think he's going to get there we might as well just play it out until half time guys as there's two minutes left plus stoppage time just push Alexander on here and French trying to get in towards the tackle that's another lovely ball around the corner they've come to life a little bit here Peterborough and ball comes in and again McNeil with another good save showing us his goalkeeping potential I'm just going to pass this off because they're pretty much the half time whistles going to go now anyway and there it is we go into the break 1-0 up here we go into the second half guys and we get ourselves an early goal literally in the first six minutes or so with the first opportunity of the game which questions over the goalkeeper but never mind we're 1-0 up and then uh, towards the end of the first half Peterborough come to life a little bit so it is game on there's Wilson in towards French just trying to ping this towards Alexander takes it down really well I've got a few white shirts ahead of me I'll use Wall see if I can get Amadou around the corner Amadou provides a lovely ball in towards Kirk Wilson I'm going to drop it here for Amadou coming in and Amadou makes it two the new signing has already stamped his authority in this team got the captain's armband and now he hits the back of the net I was going to hit it with Kirk Wilson as you'll see a wonderful ball from Amadou and I was going to hit it with Kirk Wilson I saw Amadou sprinting towards the box and I thought if I just lay that into his feet he's already got the power on it and finish it finish it he does 2-0 Peterborough trying to come back at us with something here and trying to create themselves an opportunity to get at least one back but dropping that towards Amadou here's Doyle going to send Jordan on his way because he's made me a really good run here Jordan brings it down the chest Kirk Wilson's there and almost tried to dink it into him and couldn't quite bring the ball under control but we will keep going here because I think Wall should win that he didn't win that and into midfield Peterborough may tri create something here and Silver try going in with a strong aggressive tackle they've still got possession and Wilson gets a good tackle in so does Amadou defensively we just stand strong but Jordan's gone again here if I can ping him in down this side here is Jordan can he find a decent cross into the box headed clear I am actually waiting for some substitutions here guys I've made two subs I've subbed on Banks for French and also they might have a chance here sprinting down this side and cross the ball in here and Alexander gets a good block in now the changes will come guys so you see French will be going off Rodriguez will be going off and I have brought on uh, Valencia and Banks so those are the changes and we'll just let this corner play out in the 82nd minute here sprinting towards looking for a short one but he's crossed it in anyway and the ball's clear as well over towards Alexander not long left in the game here guys I'm just going to see if I can keep possession at the end here and try and steal a third goal but I won't do it like that giving possession away I can Silver intercept that he does really well here's Wall we might be able to create the third here but Wall runs straight into trouble two minutes added on and that's one minute already gone it looks like it's going to be a 2-0 win here I did want a third really but the whistle should go but they're sprinting forward here and Silver intercepts and that should be full time and is we get a 2-0 win at home here press conference after the game guys and we get a 2-0 win against Peterborough like we said every time we've played them really they never cause us many trouble and we always seem to find the back of the net when they're concerned so um, we'll just say everybody defended well which we certainly did defend well we got some really good tackles in especially Amadou in midfield who was just brilliant today um, we've beaten Peterborough twice we certainly have um, we take pride in our work when it comes to Peterborough I don't know why but we certainly do um, I know we've got goals in us which we all, always have no Kirk Wilson always you. dangerous up top and obviously getting a goal and an assist for the game so three another three points sees us into fourth place Fulham have taken top spot by one point off Brighton I didn't even notice that I've just just noticed it now 
Uh, Coventry up in third. They're having a hell of a season. And we are up into fourth now. Same as QPR, who we have in the next game. So this could separate third and um, well fourth and fifth place really because if we get three points and we can go ahead of QPR by three points we will definitely get ourselves a playoff spot but with Bournemouth chasing on 51 points we've got to keep these wins coming so I'll simulate forward I'll see you at Edgar Street Stadium again against QPR here we are then guys for the second time in this episode Edgar Street uh, Edgar Street Stadium should I say at home this time QPR if I remember rightly I think it was a 1-1 last time we played QPR I'm pretty sure we drew with them but it was a very back and forward game which I am expecting it to be QPR are right up there with us for a good reason we've had a great run of results in the second half of the season which at the start of the season we weren't doing this but I think obviously the new signing, um, Amadou, the new captain, has certainly brought a new spin into the team. Fernandez has been brilliant of late scoring. And we just seem to have picked up another level all of a sudden. So I am really, really happy with the way things are going. I didn't think we would get that playoff spot. And it is a very realistic situation now. So Griffiths in goal, Paslak in the right back position, Bale in the left back position, Hurst and Alfonsi together at the centre back position, Amadou and Adam in the centre defensive mid, O'Reilly in the camp position, Anthony out on the left, Fernandez out on the right, and I've gone with Sam Gallagher through the middle. So. We are at full strength, really hoping that we can beat QPR. Decent pass forward and QPR looking like they're going to create something early here. I'm just trying to hold my position and not give any gaps away. If anything, I want to call Adam back to try and help out defend. Really good tackle by Adam there. And we might be able to create something early here, guys. We've not had a chance on goal just yet, but this might be the first one. Let's put an early cross in here with... Um, Anthony and it's pinged out towards Hurst of all people the centre back I'll go towards Amadou see if I can get that pass down the line towards Bale it's a wonderful pass Bale puts it right across the face and Sam Gallagher can't get there and the chance has gone just trying to put some pressure on the ball here we've had possession well here at the start of this game QPR passing it around really nicely and we need to try and cut these passes out before it becomes a problem and it's too late. They've created a problem. They've created a goal. That was a very, very snappy finish. I didn't even get a chance to react before he put his foot through it. And I don't think Griffiths got a chance to react. He, he tried to come out Griffiths to obviously um, close the gap between player and the ball to make the angle tighter. And I don't think he expected the first time shot. But 1-0 down. There's Bale. Onto Hurst. I'm just going to try and send this over towards Paslak. So I can send that first time into Sam Gallagher here and go around the corner to O'Reilly. Bale's continued his run. Got a few white shirts in the box here. Let's see if I can get somebody on the end of it. And it's cleared away by the centre back, but it's dropped back in the box. The chance may still be with us if O'Reilly can win this. He does. Goes to Adam. Here's Amadou, who scored a really good goal in the last game. Can he hit this time? Tackled out of it. And there's not long until half time here, guys. I might as well play it out with you until half time with two minutes and plus stoppage time. They might be able to get another chance themselves here. I've just pushed Alfonsi on to try and cover that run, and they do get in, and they almost get a second if it wasn't for Griffiths. Griffiths didn't see the first chance clear enough, and they've got a goal, but he did see that one, and he got in the way of it. It's actually hit him in the chest. He hasn't necessarily saved it, but he's just got in the way of it, so. There's one minute added on and they've got themselves another corner. Fernandez getting a block in and they will continue play here before half time. Let's get rid of this and bring half time into play before they get another chance to score. There is half time. We're one nil down. Into the second half we go then guys and if I'm being completely honest, I think QPR have had the better half. They've had more of the ball, they've had better chances and obviously it scored one of them so we need to be better in this second half that's a good tackle from Amadou here's O'Reilly keeps possession well as I'll stay with this see if we can create something pass back in towards Gallagher here is Amadou let's see if I can get Bale around the corner and get a decent cross in towards a white shirt 
chance may still be with us if he can keep it going. Adam tries to get that in towards Amadou and it looks like QPR again pushing forward at us. Looking to come from that far side. Alfonsi was watching him but he's got around the corner with a nice burst of pace. Alfonsi needs to get back and make the tackle which he does very very well. Can we get this away now? We don't. We're trying to pass it out and we've got stuck. Hurst got a tackle in but we've still got possession. And Alfonsi get a tackle in, doesn't, Hurst gets a tackle in, now can we get it away? We can, can we get it up the field on a Kemter attack? Here's Adam, on to Fernandez. I've got Sam Gallagher with him, if I can get Sam Gallagher in some space, which I can, and he's continued going forward here, Gallagher shot, and Gallagher has equalised. That is the determination that we needed to get back in this game and Sam Gallagher has come up with the goods. As you see there, he didn't let it go, he kept going, he turned, he hits it so well and so much power on it. The goalkeeper is not stopping that. Just making some subs here guys, I've took Amadou off and Hurst off and I've put Silva on and I've put Doyle on. I'm going to put this into Gallagher's feet if I can. Gallagher holding off the challenge, try and get that round the corner. O'Reilly goes for the shot and off the keeper's gloves and it's out for a corner with five minutes remaining. I'm going to take Gallagher off and bring Kirk Wilson on for the last five minutes and see if he can win the game for us. Try and whip this in towards our big lads in the middle. Alfonsi goes up for it and it's dropped towards striker and Bale has lost out there and they might be on a counter attack here. Silva is not the quickest in pace but he's trying to get back and they've knocked it forward that is a really good tackle um, I'm not sure who it was by I think it was Doyle that made that really good tackle we might as well see it out to a full time here now guys and here's O'Reilly I can see Bale free on the far side Bale brings it down in towards Anthony can we get that vital goal that we need here's O'Reilly I'm going to go towards the back post and blocked two minutes added on guys and they may be on some sort of counter attack here now and this is not what we want they're breaking forward at pace I'm going to try and slide in with the block Silva got a touch on it but I don't think it's going to be enough they've got it in and around our area it's turned and he scored in the 93rd minute with 92 minutes added on he scored and he's just won them the game that is devastating I tried to slide in with Silva to get a touch on it just to knock it out of play. I got the slightest of touches on it. They get it into the box. He turns Doyle. Griffiths can't get a glove on it. And that is a 93rd minute winner. Not even going to be time to pass it. There goes the full time whistle. And that is a hard defeat to take. Back at the menu then guys. And that is a really, really hard one to take. As you can see here. Late drama, late drama it certainly was because the 93rd minute with 92 minutes added on, they get the winner. It's not the worst thing in the world, as you can see. We're still in fifth place. Um, they have the three points on us into fourth now, as we would have liked to be the other way around and have three points on them. But we are still in a playoff position, so we can't be too disheartened by it. We need to take that in you know that passion and put it into our football or the anger from that game and put it into our football to keep in a playoff spot because Bournemouth are one point behind us so our Millwall and obviously Sheffield United are three points behind us so we can't let it get us down we've got to push forward and we've got to keep trying for these results so the last play game of the episode guys Birmingham City for the third time I will see you at the Edgar Street Stadium Third time in a row, guys, Edgar Street Stadium. This time, Birmingham City. This is not going to be the easiest game, but on paper it should be because Birmingham City have dropped down to 13th. They are in and around mid-table now. I know it's not going to be an easy game, but on paper it should be an easy game. We're miles ahead of them. They've not had a great run of results at all. But after the last game, after conceding a 93rd minute winner uh, yeah so let's not talk about it but apparently we have the best defense in the league so we've conceded the least amount of goals with Brighton and obviously Fulham not too far away either so defensively we have been good we just need to make sure that we're scoring goals which is what we need to do in this game we've got to beat Birmingham 
to keep that playoff spot. So we will have a look at the lineups and then we'll get straight into the football. Here we go then guys, we have gone with Josh Griffiths in goal, I've gone past like in the right back position, I've gone Bale in the left back position, I've gone Banks and Silva at centre back because of tired legs, I've gone Amadou and Doyle in centre defensive mid positions together, I've gone O'Reilly in the camp position, Rodriguez on the left, Fernandez on the right and Kirk Wilson up top. So we should be able to get a win here against Birmingham. We are at home even though we're in our chain strip and they're running a standard 4-4-2. So I would like to think we will get a win seeing as in they've dropped down to 13th. Here's O'Reilly. Drop that in towards Doyle and Doyle was brought down there and there's an early yellow card. Just trying to keep hold of possession and dropped it towards Doyle and again it's Doyle that's chopped down in a tackle and they've received a yellow card early here. Let's see if we can do something with the free kick. I'll look towards Kirk Wilson if he can turn here, Kirk Wilson. And that time that was a good tackle. Let's see if this is going to go anywhere for Birmingham. Coming forward now. Decent pass out wide. And pass like was watching him closely. Hamadou pushed. And that's a decent ball down the middle. And almost a chance created and almost the first goal really decent effort and that had some power on it just over the top of the bar oh chip forward towards Wilson and it wasn't the right pass we were looking for and they could get on the run again here that is a wonderful ball over the top and he's got one or two shirts in the middle he chooses to go to the edge of the box we get it away and we might actually be able to turn this into a counter attack of our own in towards Kirk Wilson's feet I'm going to use Bay over in the corner if I can get it to him I do get it to him and Kirk Wilson was chopped down there, that's probably going to be another yellow card but O'Reilly turning in towards the box, can't get his effort away and Doyle win the header, he can't and Fernandez will pick this up here and so O'Reilly he's going to try and get the ball around the corner, it's very much a physical battle at the start of this game and to be honest there probably will be another yellow card coming after this but they're in again behind here back and forward game it's going from one end to the other we need to get a tackle in or at least a block that was a really good little bicycle kick and they do get another yellow card that's two yellow cards inside what 25 minutes chances at both ends and it's really going off in this game decent pass forward by Birmingham City and he's looking for his man down the line and Bale trying to cut the the line for him to pass it through and he's gone all the way himself here and might be able to get a crossing on his own is he looking to go back he did look to cross it and block, blocked out by Bale and out for a throw Let's see if they can create something from the throw here and throws it straight down the line Bale is there again see if he can get a block in he doesn't goes back inside creating the chance that's a really good tackle by Banks got a good footing I tried to play it away but I've only knocked it out for another throw it's been a very competitive first half this and you just know that one team is going to let oh, I'm going to say it, let up and almost get a chance to score and they should have done if you're being honest that should have been 1-0 and line to Fernandez here's Doyle in midfield over towards Amadou he sends Bale down the line I've got Kirk Wilson free here as well as O'Reilly I'm just going to try and hit this with O'Reilly and it's bounced out for Fernandez whipping it towards the back post and that's a really good stop by the goalkeeper and he may have thrown it straight out to Fernandez here he, does, he tries to chip it forward we'll stay with it here just in case something happens that's like trying to get the tackle in and nothing doing of that just yet it's a good block by Doyle and Amadou also gets another good touch on it but they keep possession Silva gets a good tackle in they've still got the ball and Amadou picks up the free, free ball and we might be able to bring it away here on a counter attack can I get Rodriguez in behind that's a really good ball by O'Reilly knock it back to him if I can one minute added on guys that's probably going to be and is half time into the second half we go and two yellow cards chances at both ends how on earth has there not been a goal in this game I do not know this pass like was trying to send that into 
Banks, Hunter, Amadou. Amadou's got O'Reilly completely free here. Sorry, it's Kirk Wilson, and Kirk Wilson was snapped down again. That is the third yellow card that they have had. I will bring Hurst on for Silver just to get some fresh legs in those defensive areas because that's where the danger is at the minute. That is a horrible tackle, and this is in a shooting position. Is this going to be the free kick that goes in? I'm going to try it with Paslak as he's a little bit better on the free kick. Can this be the first free kick of the series that actually goes in? Please let it go in. Paslak, decent effort, and hits the top of the net. There's Doyle on the turn. Drop this towards Amadou. On towards O'Reilly. Try and get this into Kirk Wilson's feet. If he can turn here, Kirk Wilson, which he does. And the ball is not back into play. We might have another chance here. Should be able to claim this with Kirk Wilson. He gets up for the header and he's only knocked it out for a Birmingham City throw. But the pressure is on. I do not know how this game is nil-nil. But that's put in towards Doyle and heads that down towards O'Reilly. Rodriguez has turned here. We know he can hit them. Rodriguez off the keeper's gloves. He's still in play. Rodriguez back into O'Reilly. He's hit it straight at the goalkeeper. Pressure continues. Can we get the ball back and carry on? But they're heading up the field now. Like I said, it's back and forward, back and forward as it's been the entire game. And they've got a chance at this end now. Get a good block in. Griffiths gets a good block in. And thankfully, he's offside. Just have another look at it here and double check. But yep, he's offside. And making two changes here, guys. Fernandez and Rodriguez off. And Anthony and Graham on. There's Amadou bringing that ball down. Well, O'Reilly drops it back into Amadou. If we need to score, we need to do it soon. Here's Amadou with a decent cross. And don't tell me it's a penalty. I think we've got a penalty, guys. Again, it's another handball in the box. Let's have a look at this one. I tried to whip it in, and it does. It hits his arm. It's another one of those late penalties that could make it or break it. Who do I take it with? Mm. I think I might just go past Lack to take it as he's already there and he can just hit it first time so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go right this time please bury this past Lack and he does bury it past Lack in the 84th minute to a penalty has put us 1-0 ahead this game has been back and forward there's been three yellow cards on their part there's been multiple chances and finally the deadlock is broken it's took a penalty and it's took pass like to side foot it in the right hand side of the net to put us 1-0 in front into the last minute we go guys there's only stoppage time left which should be 3 minutes and is over towards Bale can we try and get one last goal to finish them off I'm kind of holding possession and hoping that they will create a gap but this is what we don't want we don't want them counter attacking with two minutes left to go Banks hits that in towards Hurst I'm just going to try and send this down the line but never mind there goes the full time whistle and it's a penalty that decides the three points press conference after the game guys and it's a penalty that decides the three points we played reasonably well defended reasonably well it was just a physical tough battle of a game but your boys left it well did they I think um, they keep going till the very last minute that's all I can say though we it was just one hell of a game yellow cards penalty physical battle um, did you ever feel like it wasn't going to go I certainly did uh, we we're under pressure yep there's a lot of defending to be done during the game that is correct um, really turn things around at Hereford United we are proud of us so, yeah we're resilient we certainly are um, but yeah that one was a, just a physical game um, a lot of heavy tackles going in and eventually it comes down to the penalty which pass like converts so that leaves us now guys still in fifth place by one point we have this playoff spot now I don't want to lose it so that's how the standings look for 34 games played. We've not actually got a bad record. Won 15, drawn 11 and lost 8. I don't think that's a bad record in the championship at all. So drop me a big thumbs up, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, as always. I can't wait to get 
well, further into the back end of the season and see if we're going to get this playoff spot. Because if we get to the playoffs, we have the chance of getting into the Premier League. Drop a big thumbs up, guys. Thank you for your support. I will see you in the next episode. It's been Danilo's 1989. Love you, bye.